So the Monday eclipse for us is going to be partial. We'll have 83% of the sun covered at 318 here in Richmond. The maximum point of this eclipse only lasts a few minutes. It begins at 202, get the maximum effect at 318, and then the eclipse for Richmond is over at 431 p.m. Now, in terms of the path of totality, that's where 100% of the sun gets covered. That stretches from Texas up through just east of St. Louis through Ohio into the northeastern United States. This is a plot of cloud cover expected during the eclipse. So it looks like we'll have partly mostly cloudy skies across Texas, a little bit more sun in Arkansas, and at least partly cloudy skies, possibly mostly cloudy skies across parts of Ohio. Here locally, we'll see increasing cloud cover from the west, more clouds west of I-95 with more clouds near and west of the mountains. That may hamper the viewing. It looks like maybe one of the best spots to see the path of totality would be in northern Maine, where lots of sunshine is expected up there. Again, you need to wear the special glasses. If you don't have those, you can make an eclipse view, or maybe you made one of these in school a long time ago. You take a shoe box, cut out two holes in the side, front side of the box there. Then you take a piece of tin foil, put some tape around it, and then tape that on the front of the box. Take a pencil, poke a hole through that. And then the next thing you do is you take a piece of paper and put that in the back portion of the shoe box there. After that, you put the top on for the shoe box and then you put your back to the sun and look through the open hole and you'll actually see things happening almost like they're on a TV screen. That is one way to view the eclipse. Make sure you check out WTVR.com for more stories about Monday's eclipse.